Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to prepare 3D city model or 3D city building model. It is very easy to prepare in ArcGIS. What we require, we require shape file and along with the height of the building. Okay, so what we can able to do for that to download the shape file of any city building, what we can able to do, we just need to go to triple bik website that is open street map website so from here we can able to get our building shape files so i have already uploaded a video on my channel i will share the link in the description box how to download but again i will show you one more time so let's search name here for which city you want to do it like i want to do it for mumbai so i'll just click on the mumbai we'll just search so here i'm getting to mumbai so like I'm reaching here. So like now I'm interested to prepare a 3D city model for this area. Okay. So what we can able to do for that to download this, we can just click here. Now move a map to your desired location. Okay. So like this portion I want to download. So I can move it and just click on the extract option. So you need to add, so you need to select a shape file option here. Okay. Then the name, it is already taken, but you can add, or if you want to change the name, you can change name, then add your email address. So after adding an email address, just click on the extract. So once it will extract, it will go to the email ID, which email ID we have provided here. So it will take five to 10 minutes. And after that, it will come to our email ID and we can able to download that. So this way you will receive an email that is showing a downloaded link here. Okay, you will get an email from triple BIK extract. So this area we have selected, just need to click on the, just need to click on the download options. So once you'll click on the download option, it will start download below. So after that, we can just right click, show to folder. And this file I can extract from here or I will take this into one folder. So I'll just cut from here and I will paste in the folder where I'm working. So in the folder where there is a 3D city model folder is there, there I will paste it. So right click, extract file is there. Just click on the okay. So in this file, we'll get different, different shape files are there. Like a building shape file, land use, Nature's all the shape file is there, so I'll just copy this path. I will go to Arc Map and I'll paste it here the path. And so let I will add one by one layer here. Like suppose I will add a buildings. Okay, you will see the buildings are there. After that, you want to see land use, so land use are there. Then natural, all things are there mostly. So what we require, I want to show a uh, 3D building footprints. Okay. So what we can able to do, we need to project this first, this building, we need to project these buildings. So we'll right click and open attribute table. You'll see all the informations in that. What we can able to do, we just need to add a height here, one column, and we need to add the height of the buildings. So this building's height, we can collect from the on field. So if you'll go to field and you will collect the height of the building, you can add the accurate height of the building. But for here demonstration purposes, I will add some height values here. But before that, I need to convert this into projected file format. So how we are going to project this? So just need to go to Arc Toolbox. In the Arc Toolbox, there you need to go to Data Management Tool. Okay, in the Data Management Tool, there is a projection and transformation, and then Project option is there. Just click on the project, select this building, and we need to see what location, what UTM zone it is falling. So it is a 72.81 means it is falling in 43 UTM zone. So how to know what is the UTM zone? So please check out my previous video. I have already explained how to provide a UTM zone. So here I will add Mumbai. CT PRJ 
okay mumbai ctp rj file i will add just click on the save and output coordinate system so just go to projected coordinate system utm then wgs 94 northern hemisphere and select here utm zone 43 just click on ok and just click on ok so now what we have we have this projected shape file. okay so this projected shape file is now if i'll go to folder just need to refresh the folder okay so here the mumbai city prj file is there and it is projected okay so this file will add in qgis will add in qgis and will download the google earth image for this okay so just go to qgis and scmgis plugins then base map and you can add here a satellite image okay so we'll add our shape file here so this scmgis plugin you can install from here okay so i have already uploaded a video so just click on the vector file and just select a mumbai city prj this is shape file so open add and close so right click then click on the zoom tool here so i require this image okay so this image i require how i can able to download this image so to download this image what we can able to do so just need to go to this project and print and page layout here i will add here i will add a name like google image just click on ok so you can just right click and print and paste setup what print and paste setup we want that we can select and so right now i will just add that image so just go to add item add map so just drag it here okay so like little bit we can move downside okay and uh, this buildings i don't want i just want this google image so i will just uncheck this okay and i will again come back just select this and refresh so you will see this is there and we want this building footprints only how we can able to export this as a georeference file okay so just need to click here that is a export as image so here i will save in the folder 3d city modeling that is a google image and i will save as a tiff file so just click on the save and what dpi you want so most important thing is a generate world file and just click on the save so this file is saved now if i'll go to the folder i will refresh this and you will see this google image is there okay so this image is a geo reference now so we'll go to the arc map so let i will add that image i will take a blank so refresh this is the google image and yes so <clears throat> this file i will remove from here because i want to add this file here and i want to edit it so just let add this mumbai city prj file and right click open attribute table here i need to add the height of the building so just add field so i will add height and short integer you can also take float if you want <clears throat> and just click on ok so now if you click here so we require height for this building okay if you go to field you can collect the height for this building what are the heights are there accordingly that you can just select it i'll just by default i will add some uh, i will just add some values here like select it then field calculator like this is five 
or you can add like four. Again, come back, then select another. Then again, come back. So right now I have roughly added some values here. Okay. But if you'll go to field, you can collect that uh, height of the data. After adding the height of the data, after adding height of the data, you will get accurate elevation of that location. And we can generate an accurate 3D building model. But here I'm for demonstration, I'm just adding the values. Okay, just after adding these values, <clears throat> what we need to do, we need to add this value to arc scene. Okay, so just select here. Just go to search toolbox and select arc scene. Okay, so after opening arc scene, I will cancel this and we can add the data. So add data option is there. Like you will see the same tool here as you are able to see in ArcGIS. Okay, so add data option is here also and here also it is available. So just click on the add data. So I want to add this Mumbai PRG city and this is Google image. So add. Okay. So after adding this, what we can do, go to the setting and properties. So in the extrusion, okay, we need to go to extrusion. Here we select the extrude feature in this layer, then select this option. Okay, this calculator option is there and select the height. Okay expression as a height just click on okay and apply and okay okay after that scan layer right click then scan properties here we need to calculate from the extent okay so just apply and okay now you will able to see this the height of the building so I will just right click, go to properties. On the base of this symbology, I will go to categories. I will classify this on the base of height. I can select the height of the building and apply. Okay. So now you can able to see the 3D building CG model here. Okay. So nearly we have given an equal uh height so you can change the height or uh, then you will look it will look more beautiful but in actual whatever the height you will add that will look more interesting but if you have 3d city model project so then you can able to get the exact value and after getting the exact value we can generate a 3d city model like this okay so it is very easy to generate a 3d city model so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.